Previously, we already talked about the dying for a ADV150 that comes with a lot of sophisticated features and even get better engine performance than the Honda ADV150. So that, in this video, we are going to compare the specifications of an adventure scooter from China, dying for a ADV150 and the well-known Japanese adventure scooter Honda ADV150 to find out is the Chinese adventure scooter better than the Japanese one. But before we start, let me play our intro. First, let's talk about the engine. As we know, Honda ADV150 is powered by 150cc SOHC 4-stroke single-cylinder liquid coolant engine that can provide a maximum power of 14.5 PS and a maximum torque 13.8 N. Surprisingly, the 150cc 4-valve single-cylinder liquid coolant engine of Daing for ADV150 can provide more power that reach 16.45 PS and also more torque at 14.6 newtons. Not only that, even for a ADV150 has more fuel tank capacity, which is 9.3 liters, while the Honda ADV150 only get 8 liters. Not only the engine, even in terms of the features, for a ADV150 is also better than the Honda ADV150. If the Honda ADV150 only get adjustable windscreen, full LED lightning system, full digital panel instrument cluster, keyless system, USB charging socket, and emergency stop signal. But dying for a ADV150 gets more than that. Besides also comes with an adjustable windscreen, full LED lightning system, keyless system, USB charging socket, and emergency stop signals. This bike is also equipped with dual cameras at the front and the rear that integrated to 7 inches full color LCD screen on the dash. Meanwhile, in terms of the dimensions, Honda ADV150 is better than the 4A ADV150. If the 4A ADV150 has a seat height of 775mm, ground clearance of 165mm, and the weight is 150kg, meanwhile the Honda ADV150 has a higher seat height that reach 795mm, ground clearance is the same at 165mm, and the weight is lighter at only 133 kilograms. Apart from all parameters above, the rest specifications is the same. For the suspension, both the ADV150 and 4 a ADV150 get telescopic fork at the front and dual shock absorbers with a sub tank at the rear. Then for the wheels, those bikes get the same 14 inches rim at the front and 13 inches rim at the rear, as well as a hydraulic disc brake for both front and the rear wheel, complete with ABS. That's it. 